Hello from one of the rainiest but most interesting parts of Spain, Galicia. We're at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos in Vigo. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo up against Real Sociedad. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's how it looks for Celta Vigo. Well, they're set up in a defensive 4-4-2. If they can counter-attack quickly, get the front players to hold up the play and get the wide players higher up the field, they do have the ability to cause problems here. And the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Well, they're playing with four in midfield, but one of those central players will be slightly advanced of the other three. And his role is to find space behind the strikers and be the creative spark. And the contest begins. Paciencia. And a timely intervention. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Hugo Mayo. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And he's through here. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. It's a short corner. He takes aim and fine goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Over it comes. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, they can bring it out now. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, we know he's a good all-round player, but his strength is when balls are rolled into him. He can hold up the play, he can roll defenders, he can get away from them, and that's key to the way his team want to play. When they get the ball into him, that's when they're at their strongest. The cross is on. Well, High-quality defending. Iago Aspas, and he read it really well, fine save. Well, they're playing well now, and these fans can sense a goal coming.
now the delivery well it has come to nothing Kubo wonderfully weighted pass a terrific defending to stop them progressing Well, no stopping him. He's using his strength to good effect. And offside. Well, close one. doesn't have to do it on his own a really sumptuous ball oh that's textbook goalkeeping Servi well they're getting on top now oh Andy. hang on Stuart big chance here Fran Beltran will he play it in can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Playing it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. The high press was very much on. Renato Tapia. Patient build-up at the moment. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Silva in possession Mendes here a really effective shielding under pressure and they continue to advance and a lot of options here oh it might be well fantastic reflex action And David Silva tasked with taking it. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can keep possession now. Iago Aspas. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, that fuzzy on the eye. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. has restarted 1-0 here referee's whistle then bringing to an end the first half here at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well he certainly had an immense half scoring that late goal but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, racing past his man. And he takes it away. Mikel Marino. And the ball with Sir Lott. Getting forward. Might be dangerous. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Now, how about the short corner? And a shot from some way out. Well, deciding to test the keeper, but no problems really. Well, as you can see from those stats, their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. They need to start getting the ball into the final third more often and play at a quicker tempo. Otherwise, they just won't get back into this game. Well, in possession now. Let's see what they can create. Now well, their hopes rise as they win a corner. Taken by David Silva, struggling to get it away. Silva. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, couldn't keep it. Now options are plenty. Silva. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Chance to finish. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Mikel Marino now with Silva Silva Gorosabel Marino will they get themselves level here and a goal to square the game into the seat stuff Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Keeping position. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important.
Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Plattered away. Now can they counter clinically? Oyar Sabal. And continues his run. Fractionally offside. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Hugo Mayo. It's with Iago Aspas. Renato Tapia on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. A good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.